uh, what's your situation now at, at second base and how are you going to handle things there? Yeah, Jonathan Brown will have surgery. Uh, he had surgery this morning, uh, repair a broken fibula. Uh, it's with technology now. It's basically some screws in the plate and get him back on the road to recovery. He's out six to eight weeks. Uh, happened in practice, sliding through the base, caught a spike on the bag. Uh, just one of those things that can happen. Uh, kid plays extremely hard. He had worked his way, you know, all the way up from pretty much obscurity into probably probably being a starter at the time, and uh, so uh, we've we've got uh, you know Connor Dupuy provides really good defense. He, he defends at an extremely high level. Uh, Tremaine Spears, uh, obviously Justin Green. Uh, so we've got some options, and uh, you know it's I mean, like I told him when it happened. We hate it for JB, but it'll provide an opportunity for somebody else to step up, and you know maybe it's Connor Dupuy's time. What are you looking forward to the most out of this weekend, as far as like the players? I think the biggest thing is you spend from August to December mastering a, a routine for the fall, correct? And, and, you know, how to go about your business in the classroom, off the field, practice, weights, uh, et cetera. Uh, and, and then you spend six weeks apart. For, for the Christmas break and then you get back into what I call a spring training routine where we get back January 12th and uh, we've already met 23 different times together as a team uh, and, and done some type of work be it in the weight room or uh, on the field uh, and, and now you start the, the last phase and, and it's the last routine for us to master and it's it's the actual season it's the, the spring season and, and the biggest part is getting off you, you want to get off to a good start but more than anything you want to start planting those roots and and and, and starting a, a, a rock solid routine that, that you're going to be able to maintain throughout the course of five months and that's our plan is to play for five months and so uh, I think routine is a, a, a tremendously big deal in that uh, especially when you're dealing with baseball guys. Perrin and Burke, where are they right now? Okay, but I think they're pretty close. Uh, we might see, uh, you know, you might see AP get on a bump a little bit later this week. Uh, such a touchy thing, but lat can be a, a tremendously, uh, you know, up and down type injury. And, and I don't think he got it as bad as you can. Uh, had a couple of different guys throughout my career miss over a year with it. And, you know, we're talking about three or four months right now with him, and he's already about to throw a bullpen. So uh, I would say within the next, barring any setbacks, you probably see him on the bump in the next three weeks to, to four weeks. Uh, Bert is just a matter of, of continuing to heal that, that, that muscle that, that he tore. And, and it's in a, in a precarious spot when you're talking about the growing and ab section of, of that abductor muscle. Uh, arm is fully healthy. Uh, arms ready to go. It's a matter of how much can he move, and and you know I, I think he's probably in AP's boat, probably in that two to three week range. But they'll be you know just add him to the stable uh, when they get back, and and hopefully everybody else can you know stay somewhat healthy. No, I think you know we do. Uh, I think we know the first four guys are going to go out. I think Wednesday's TBA, and and what if we had five rock solid guys? Uh, but I'll probably come out with that Wednesday or Thursday. Very emotional, obviously Friday coming up. Are you concerned that the players almost get may get too wrapped up in emotion, and the ball game itself becomes? I would expect them to, you know, I, I think, uh, and I've told them that, you know, the game at, at this juncture, obviously we want to play our best, but my goodness, if you get lost in emotion, go for it. Uh, we all should, right? Uh, we're not going to run from that or hide from that. We're, we've addressed it multiple times. This, this is a huge weekend to unveil a statue and a number and a, you know, to continue the, the healing process. We're talking about a legend uh, that meant so much to so many different people in so many different ways. Uh, baseball game's going to break out, okay? And I think we're all going to have a lot of fun. Is that it? Um, when speaking about the different opponents that you have this weekend, I guess starting with Southeast, that'll be your first opponent on Friday. Uh, what do you know um, just about the Lions and, and, and maybe uh, 
what they may present? Yeah, Matt Riser, first and foremost, does a tremendous job. Uh, he's one of the best coaches in the country. He's young, energetic, uh, intense, a lot of passion. Uh, J.R. Teagues, who passed the reins down to him, who's the AD there now, uh, coached a very similar style. I have a lot of respect for, for Southeastern as well as LaTeX. Uh, in the baseball circles, people that know, no, uh, you better be ready. And uh, they play a definitive brand of baseball. Uh, it's very systematic. They're going to have long ABs. They're going to move runners. They're going to look to take extra bases. Pitchers are going to pound the strike zone with multiple pitches. And they're probably going to defend it pretty good. That's a lot. And, uh, you know, you, anytime, and I've, I've been playing in Southeastern for years, you know, dating back to when I was here, and then obviously they were our, our number one competition when I was in the Southland. Uh, so I'm very familiar with their ball club and can't stress enough how much respect I have for those guys. They play the game the right way. It's a, it's a fun brand of baseball. They play extremely hard, uh, and, and, and they like to get after it. It's, it's uh, you know, a lot of times we've played them, it's like looking at yourself in the mirror. And it's generally the first team that flinches, uh, you know, wh is going to win that game. We've had a ton of games come down into the seventh, eighth, ninth inning with those guys. There's just no quit in them. Uh, good thing for us is, is we've got really good starting pitching. We've got a bullpen to go to, and I think we're going to string together a bunch of competitive at-bats. Uh, defensively, I think we're as rock solid of a ball club as I've had in a long time defensively. Did, um, did you or, or did, did Bab um, schedule Louisiana Tech after they lost the field, or was that one already in place? Bab generally has, and, and most coaches, to have that, that schedule done two to three years out. But you, that's a good point. You know, one thing about Law Tech, and Lane Burrow is another guy, first-class guy. Both of those guys are really what I call real good friends, and I got a lot of respect for them. Uh, they, that Law Tech group's been through a lot. And they're going to be road warriors this year. And if they do play at home, it's going to be at a high school field. And uh, so the two games back here may be a product of that. Uh, I, I think initially what happened, I wasn't here, obviously, was there was probably somebody back out on us opening weekend. Uh, and so we get Southeastern and then bring La Tech into the mix. That's a pretty good opening weekend. And then you back that up by going to Southeastern, which is a, it's a tough venue. And uh, they do a really good job of marketing that place, and they're going to pack it out. Uh, and then Tulane, who we all saw in the fall, I think we would all agree they're a much improved ball club uh, and extremely well coached again. Uh, every game we're going to have to take one at a time, literally. Uh, you know, like we said, we, we expect to win every time we go in and play. But if you look ahead of our schedule, it can get a, it can get a little bit overwhelming. You got to stay day to day, one game at a time. Let's do whatever it takes to get this one. And uh, you know, like you said, Dan, there's going to be a lot of emotion this weekend. Uh, our guys are, are ready to play. Uh, you know, one of the, the most generic question is, are you guys ready? You look forward to open it. But I think when you have a passion for the game and you love to play, I wish we played 162 of these things, okay? I love to play every day. And, and some of these kids, it's kind of like my good buddy Steve Springer talks about every day's opening day. When, when you love to play and you have a chance to compete, it, you kind of get that feeling every day. And I think these boys are, are, are ready to play. I think they have been since they showed back up from Christmas. Do we have a lot to iron out? Most certainly. I think the most exciting thing and the public will see this in short order as this group has a chance to continue to get better and better and better uh, so I'm excited about staying in that process and, and uh, kind of just letting the games get in the way if, if you will I get the one game th every game thing but after the first four or five games you want to in your mind like X number at, at, with all the option interchangeability that you've talked about X number of bats for this guy X number of bats for that guy for these first five or six just to get the ball rolling or is that not really in your we, we have a lot of in interchangeable parts Kevin but the, the, the unfortunate thing about today's day and age is RPI and with RPI man 
you, you've got to set out to win every single game. And so if we if we stumble upon that right next early, uh, obviously I would expect to start identifying roles later in the game, uh, i.e. base run, defense, pinch hit, uh, bullpen type roles. Uh, that that'll be awesome. But uh, if if we run a lineup out there that gets it done, you know, don't be surprised if we stay with that thing for a while. Uh, and, and I like this group. They're dynamic, man. Uh, they they do a little bit of, of everything. Uh, I was real excited. Pulled up today, uh, putting a putting a padded wall up uh, as we speak right now in the rain, and I uh, got goosebumps. You know, chills looking at it because I know how much that meant to Coach Robe, and and that's something that he always wanted to to get done, and was in the midst of trying to get done, and and. Uh, through a lot of generosity and a lot of people bending over backwards and, and Coach Babb worked his butt off getting it done. Uh, finally, we're not going to lead you know, the nation in home run ground balls this year. Uh, <laughs> there's an actual fence going up. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get that done. I think we will. It's going to be a tremendous opening night. Uh, like you said, we're, we're looking to honor the Robo Show family and Coach Robe.